Flying Lovers of Vitebsk is the story of Mark Chagall, the uh, Russian Jewish artist and his wife, uh, Bella. Mark Chagall, he was a Russian Jewish painter. Uh, he was born in a town called Vitebsk in 1887, and he's sort of known as one of the pioneers of modern art and um, expressionism. It's an extraordinary story because it charts lots of different layers. So it's really looking at what it is to be an artist. It's looking at what it is to be married. It's looking at what it is to be in love. And it's also watching this couple walk through some of the most terrible times in history and some of the greatest highs in history. A lot of the story is about them being drawn back to their home life. And a lot of Mark's artwork is inspired by Vitebsk the Jewish culture, Bella. I'm finding the whole piece is like painting a picture. It's like we've got a palette of things and we're mixing our colours and we're mixing our ideas and making a, a new art form. It's that beautiful spark of colour on a black and white, tense, historical moment. Nothing that Mark Chagall does is straight edged. It's like a ruler didn't exist in Mark Chagall's world. So we're trying to really knock everything off balance in the same way that the lovers are off balance. I've been looking at the rusco romany element of folk music in, in Russia and a whole bunch of klezma as well, seeing you know what's traditional and also how it's being used today. We're working with the richest pot of sound you can imagine because we've got the wonderful Jewish music, the wonderful Russian music and Ian Ross is writing a new score as well so we're blending the past and the present in a really magical way.